desperately running from one hospital to another. 27-year-old He Xuan couldn't find a single bed available for his mother, infected with novel coronavirus. Having realized Wuhan was in a dire medical situation with COVID-19 patients increasing, I tried to find her bed on my own. Hopes were slim, but I had to try. On February 7th, bringing his mother's lung scan profile to Jingyin Tan Hospital, the fourth medical center who visited, he saw our news crew and asked if we could help. During the public emergency, we were able to put him in touch with the government's task force. Two days later, Mrs. He was hospitalized. She texted me, saying her condition had gotten much better after several days of respiratory distress. Her insomnia was also relieved through medical treatment. I would occasionally prepare her soup and send it there. Mrs. He was discharged on February 20th, and the family had planned to enjoy some time together, but their joy was short-lived. Official notices said another two weeks of medical observation in designated isolation facilities was required. To be honest, my mother nearly collapsed. I tried to comfort her, seeing the government was just looking out for us. The son kept sending things to her, including a blanket the day before a snowfall. <laughs> Hu admits he really spent time talking to his parents before the epidemic. Now he prioritized that. When looking for a bed, he went online to explain his situation and got help from many, including psychological counselors. That's why he wants to volunteer in some way, but he has to wait. Given Hu's contact with his mother, the community is likely to be cautious about his goodwill. We welcome his part as a volunteer after a certain period. Hu says the busy retailing streets in the neighborhood have to wait as well, showing fears about the economic impact. But for him at the moment, his family's health is the top priority. Zhou Jiaxing, CGTN, Wuhan.